Oh, community medicine never stops. <laughs> Doesn't sleep. And yes, I am still representing Notre Dame. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still St. Patrick Day. <laughs> so here we are. So we're not barbershop stop, stop, stop talking, but we're we're Sunday doc talking. We have uh, two. Well, I have Dr. Schachter, who's an optometrist here, and I have the future Dr. Schachter, second year med student at LSU. Aubrey, I don't know if y'all remember Aubrey. We uh, we did the uh, what was the it eat called? local challenge. The eat local challenge. Y'all yeah, remember the carrot uniform? Yep. yep. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> don't talk about it. But as we were talking, because just because we're not, it's not Monday through Friday, doesn't mean that we don't think about blood pressure health. And we were talking specifically about the eye. Aubrey, you want to be an eye doctor? Uh, well, she doesn't know you. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let's talk to your dad, uh, Dr. Schachter. Uh, how does blood pressure and diabetes affect the the eye? The eyes are the window. Oh, let me talk about it. Okay, cool. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to keep that UV light out too. Yeah. Well, high blood pressure and diabetes is very harmful to the eye. Uh, you know, you really need to make sure you control that. The eye is easily affected by these diseases. Leaking blood vessels in the eye lose your sight. So make sure you keep that under control like Doc Riggs is telling you. Get your eyes checked regularly. Make sure you don't have anything going on there too. You can lose your sight. It's critical. So the, the other question is, so the people don't see, a lot of people don't understand the connection between high blood pressure. It's called the circulatory system for a reason because it's all connected in a circle. It's not a real circle, but y'all know it's, it's connected, right? Right, right. right. See, straight out of the mouth of a student. See, that's got to be right, right? <laughs> right. So the thing is, the effect of high blood pressure and diabetes, if you have too much sugar and too much damage, what, the damage that it can do, you said it can cause leaks, right? Leak, yeah, your blood vessels deliver oxygen to the eye. When they start to leak, what happens is the oxygen is, doesn't go there. The tissue of the eye starts to die. And Doc, show them your eyes. Show them your eyes. See, yeah. Show, show me eyes. You, yeah. He's, he's telling you. me, there you go, yeah, eyes, 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 yeah. <laughs> As they yeah. start to leak. Yeah, they start to leak, and so you get you get blood not going where it's supposed to go. Oxygen doesn't go where it's supposed to go. So the blood, the tissue in the eye starts to die. You get infarcts. So you get an uh, infarct. Wait now, hold on. All right, sorry, don't need to get too technical. You. So you get, you get, <laughs> you, get dead, you get dead parts of the eye. There you, you can't see with that. You need you need your eye to be very alive. And, and if a blood doesn't go where it's supposed to go, your eye's not gonna be alive. Now, Aubrey, is Dad telling the truth? That's true. Uh, just you, learned it. Are you just saying that because he said? I, I just. You're not pitching you. I know. I know. He just learned it. Just learned it. Last question about vitamin A and carrot. Is it good or bad? Good. Uh, yeah, that's good. Eat, eat, good. eat, eat a lot of carrots. And eat local, right? <laughs> yeah, eat local. Get checked, get fit, get moving all the way from California to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And here, and get Baton Rouge. And Baton Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> Rouge. Rouge. Yeah, you see that. He had to give LSU the shout Go out. Tigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> Go Tigers. Go Irish. All right, that's it. See you. Happy Sunday. Get checked, get fit, get moving. All right, thanks, man. <laughs>